Hi, today I would like to make a presentation of another project that I did recently. This is the Tem Report Manager done in InfoPath. I just wanted to discover the functionalities of InfoPath and to see the opportunities that InfoPath offers for developing these kind of applications. Well, basically this application is the automation of work with the web team report that our company has. In order to work, to start working with the application, it's necessary to set it up. Well, basically it's necessary to indicate the, the web team report address that I'm going to use. Since I'm not in the office, in the company office, I will, I'm going to use the exter external web team report address. Um, I have also the possibility to set up the default weekend project, which is basically the festivita in our case. Uh, I also have the possibility to set up the proxy address, but I discovered that basically even being in the office of our company, uh, the web time report works well even without the indicating of the pro of proxy. Well, after having set, set up the time report, it's necessary to update the projects and our types. So I have to click the update button and I have this um, window that asks me for my credentials. I have to insert my username and uh, the password. And I'm, I see that actually the application is updating the list of projects and the our types. The same has been done for the expenses report, which has more or less the same structure and the updated list of projects and, uh, and the project types. Well, uh, when working with, with uh, this application, I would probably like to have the whole month of uh, the whole month here to see and just to fill in the necessary fields that I'm interested in. Well, there is this possibility to automatically generate the calendar. So I have to select the current month and uh, the current uh, year. I click the calendar and I hit OK. As soon as I do this, the current table will be cancelled and a new table uh, will be generated where there is uh, one record, one row per day. And I have just to insert the, the projects into these combo boxes and fill in the commands and uh, just add the hours. Well, I also have the possibility to clear the whole table by clicking the clear all and I will see that my table is ready. Well, Basically, there is the possibility to add rows. As soon as I click the add row, one row will be added to the end of the, of the table. The date will be incremented by one, by one day. But, for example, if I want to split the one day into two records, I have to select this day and I click the add row. And I will have the same date copied. Well, basically, as soon as I finish um, finish filling in this uh, offline, let's say, time report, I have the possibility to save it. It will be just an XML uh, file which will contain all the data. Um, after having done the time report, you have the possibility to submit, of course, have all the data to the web time report. And um, it is done by means of this button, you click submit, and you just insert the same credentials and you see that the records are submitted. At that point, if you open the web port, you will see, for example, in my case, the September is filled in. Well, at that point, you have the possibility to um, to see what what is actually on web now. So, for example, you start, start from the empty table from the blank table and you want to see what's on web you click on what's on web the current table is cleared you are asked the same credentials and you are and you get the information about the uh, the web time the the time report that is present for the current month there is also the possibility to synchronize 
your offline time report with the um, web time report. Basically, for example, if I want to have just one record inserted in in the uh, in September, and I want to have like 56 hours worked on the 9th of September, and that would be the some project, and I say synchronize. I will find my webtime report updated and I will find instead of these three rec records I will find just one inserted on the uh, September 9 and we see here the 56 hours well basically there is the possibility to copy the data from the time report into expenses report for example you fill in your time report and then you want to fill in your expenses report based on the on your time we go to expenses we click on copy from hours and basically we first needed to clear the table we now they say copy from hours and we see that we have the expenses report almost ready the weekends are skipped in the expenses report so if you want to add the, exp the expenses for the weekends you will have to add them manually well this is all that i wanted to show you in the in this time report manager thank you very much for your attention